outside of Rise with his ulti. Israel needs the Icebound Gauntlet and then it's, it's not great Wave Clear coming in for him. Also, they're drafting double tier into a Siege composition or at least into a Lux. Fairly low Wave Clear because again, in this meta, you really want two pushing lanes. In order to have map control and be proactive, you need two pushing lanes. Let's see what happens. The match. action starting. Ika runs into trouble, and there is the risk that you run with an immobile mid laner. First kill picked up for Airwax. Ready to start a fight with the rest of Rock. Gilius is going to look to make something happen here as Throttle goes in. Exhaust down under Rallis, but a teleport is already underway. Saphir, he is going down as he true shot all the way back to Fountain. Freddy comes in and tries to get a bounce onto Steve. Throttle pulled out of harm's way, and Elements pick the successful 1v0. A very risky, and honestly, just take the tower on the dragon. Megadar's down, Saphir dodges the spear, and in comes Airwax and Edward like clockwork. I mean, Gilius goes it. down. Steve. It's not going to get a whole lot done with this boomerang, and it was all a trap. And Edward can recall and return to the bot lane as well. Element should be able to go in and push it. In. Like, uh, half his health is gone. Another rune prison. Who has to burn his flash after his exhaust. He oh. sets the laser as a parting shot. Oh. Rune shot is not quite enough, and Ika's able to eke away. Oh, I think it just hit Gilius and lost some of the damage. Yeah. We're waiting for the moment to be right as the teleport comes in. Freddy in the back looking to slingshot his way into the team. And Elements had no idea it's coming, but now they do. Looking to bounce it up. Teleport, Steve comes in, but Airwax already picked off Rales. Gilius and Sprottle split away. Saphir and Steve duking it out. Steve will find the kill. It's a three on two. Make that three on three as Betsy comes around the corner. And so does Ika trying to trap them. Laser Whoa. beam from the back line. And it looks like Ika has found his footing this game. Freddy's got nowhere to go. He's going down. Smacked into little blobules. And Elements with a big power play. Get the ace. This is what happens when you play around your strong lane. That's why you pick that Kalista. He gets a kill. So despite him falling far, behind early on he now gets some gold that's an early dragon as well it's gonna be all about freddy setting up the place for him service betsy do like this like now then betsy can go crazy lock him down steve has not got meganar yet and airwax intercepts betsy with another kill on the board and now we just need to see if they can push this advantage further in the mid game yeah, but elements do have to get rolling you're absolutely right Freddy pops, so does Steve, but in comes Betsy. And they've got him locked up, but the Narbar is full. Let's bounce, says Freddy, and there's no help coming for Steve. He may be able to gnar them into the wall, but a flash forward means Betsy picks up his third kill of the game, and that is not good news for Elements. But then had a poor team fight and fell really far behind. Now we get to see the seat show from Elements. It is quite delayed, and Rocket is here. Trying to fight it. Nice knockup from Airwax, but the team is very slow to respond. He has to flash back out of the way. Steve has to hop the wall. In comes Freddy to try and force the issue. Rowl is at half health, but Rocket are standing firm. Killer comes in, and it looks like we'll have to disengage here. Until Spottle oh! comes in. There's the laser. Not as much as they might have hoped, but they're still getting damage out on this Rocket squad. And now they are hurting. Betsy can't keep going in. Freddy will finally not be going down. He's got the blobules. Can they finish him? Is I can kill him easy. Just put in the E in the middle, wait for him to come in, and then just proc it to kill them, or wait for AD carry to steal it. No one's on the turret just yet, but they know there may be a trap. Around the corner awaits the Saphir, awaits their wow. And the laser comes in in the name of Demacia. What in the hell was that? Holy. He had heal, but he's like, I'm almost full HP. I'm not going to heal this. And that's Lux, man. Got destroyed. All the tanks are full HP for Rocket. This is still very risky. They got the Callista. They're going to try to fold the fight. In it goes Sprottle. Gets the knockup. They got and Betsy. Back. They've caught Betsy, but he's going to flash away. Exhaust is on, and he's staying healthy. Or is he? In comes Freddy to take out Gilius. Bounce it out. Picks up Steve. It's Betsy that gets the kill. Edward scattered to the wind. One Rocket member for two. Seems like a bargain deal for Team Rocket now. Rocket, if we get an open team fight, should win. Rocket might have to surrender something. We might see it again down here. Oh, from a different angle. Oh, still looks, wow. It still looks incredible. That's what uh, elements are doing, funny enough. Yeah. Whether or not they got Frog and Sprala goes in, but he's juked out by Saphir. Tries to go for the second effort. Airwax, Rallis was 
chunking him out as a teleport now he's comes Freddy. in. Freddy's in the middle, but he's not going to bounce as much as he wants. Doesn't go down, however. They've caught Betsy, and they knock him back. A oh, big gnar against the wall. Gellius gets the shutdown gold, and now Rocket on the retreat. Elements able to punish. And looks like they're going to try for a Baron Dance yet again. Beautiful setup. Freddy again, because he wasn't expecting a fight. It's Rocket kind of jumping in a little bit too early, trying to poke. Engage happens. Baron is down now. Four elements. Looks to go on in. Waits till the last moment. He gets well, that stopped. Was down. And now Shroudle, failure to launch on Freddy's side. They can't get the tower, but they are able to get out. Plays it. Spear! Heals it after the fact. Sproddle goes in, looking for Betsy. Freddy jumping up and down. Steve's gonna hop his way away. Sproddle's bounced away on his backside, and he just might get carved up. No, there's a heal. So they couldn't finish the turret in the end, but they stayed safe as the true shot comes in, doesn't finish off the cow. Steve is teeping in behind. Freddy's in the bush, he's not spotted. We got a fight on our hands, or we will in a minute. Element's trying to turn tail and run. It's good vision around them. You can see all the walls being placed on the sides here in the jungle to try and spot what's going on. Sproutle, he's been caught out. He is not going to have too much of a chance, but he stays alive and he's knocked back into the rest of the team. Meanwhile, Airwax has to get out of town, but it looks like Sproutle's the one who goes down first. Airwax is out of the fight, but he is alive. A one for none for Rockat. I wanted to show people that it could be more what people expected, and they're Go. trying to get it down. And that's a kill. Picks up an assist. We have the Queen of the Zersai. Will be able to get in there? No. Callista will make sure of that. Steve now hops, skips, jumps. Sproddle trying to interrupt Betsy. Ika very low. He's popped. Will they be able to take the fight anyways? They tunnel onto Saphir, but it's all sorts of crazy action as Betsy grabs yet another. Holy. Can he finish another? No, he's finally down. A triple kill for the Callista, and almost everybody's down. This game has gone all sorts of crazy. Freddy on the chase should be able to finish off. Steve, can you get away, Steve? Keep Super running, wrestling. Steve. Boy, oh man. my God, he's Come still on, getting away. Come on, yourself towards him. Uh-oh. He's going. Ah! Oh, wow. Four for four. Nice, Steve. Baron on the Gnar. We got it, boys. Yes. It's like it's like at the at the like climax of this, this like epic Dragon Ball Z fight where the two guys just punch each other and they both faint. Pretty much that. Fits in with the lost It's actually very well. appropriate. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Because you know, I, like I, it. I always wanted to answer this question as a kid. Who would win in a fight between Sailor Moon and Team Rocket? And I'm gonna find out eventually. Oh, that's a tough question. Maybe Twitter can help me. Sure. I think, yeah, why don't you guys tweet that one out? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, he might pay. Very carefully, get to the tunnel, and there's Sproddle. Oh, no way! Out. What a slippery shark, man. Alex is playing some fun League of Legends. TP from Steve. He has Meganar in just a few seconds. It's going to be a big one. Edward is trying to preempt this one. Steve is going to get that Meganar. He's stopped up for a second, but Sproddle's bought enough time for the big Gnar to come out. Rollins in the back. There's the laser. Chunking Edward, chunking Freddy, but not nearly enough. And they're right on back in. Just keep trading blows left and right. Everyone's still up. Not for long, though, as it looks like it's going to be. Is it Sproddle? No. Betsy, everyone from Rocket starting to go down. Elements have combined. A triple kill over and over. Rales, they lose Sproutle, a quadra kill for Rales. Will that be it? Can they march it down? I think so, Deficio. Sproutle, he headbarted Betsy over the wall, so Betsy did almost no damage in that fight, allowing Rales to set up the stacks with this Kalista, pop the rend, win the fight in the end. This Alistar has been massive. 100% kill participation in a 48 minute long game. The longest we've had in EU by far, but the Nexus Towers will fall. Rocket nowhere near coming back up. And the Demacia Laser comes out to seal the deal. Elements with a two and one start.